Hello everyone, and welcome to SCP The Endurance. Now, this fan game just came out of nowhere. Like, there wasn't even a devlog announcing the game that it was out. It was only announced on Twitter that it was out. And this game seems to be, you know, a way of a crossover. But from what I've seen here, and, the, and like how many options you have, it seems to be a really like high quality fan game. So I'm very much looking forward to playing this, and we'll start with a new game. That was a bit too fast. If something looks suspicious, I don't know. Are you tired of lackluster food and cell conditions? Now I'm not maybe too familiar with the SCP stuff, but behavior during your daily routines. Worry not, Class D personnel. We got you covered. Are you sure? The endurance. Our brand new program. Oh, what a lovely program. We want you to put your skills into practice in a variety of tasks currently unattended in our facility. As you know, I love the SCP list. So is an organization pieced together to make the world a better and safer place for both humanity and our specimen. I do like the voice actor. We're like a giant mechanism to sustain its perfection for years ahead. Some maintenance practices are heavily required. Recently, we found out about a few faulty parts holding our facility back. Mm, a few faulty, a few faulty but parts. To our brilliant management, a swift and organized removal of said defects has been arranged, and that's where you come in. Oh yeah. We need you to fill in these empty spots to keep our organization running. Don't let your lack of qualifications be a concern. Yeah, yeah no, no. This solution is just a temporary measure, so you won't have to struggle for long. It also means you have a limited time to gather an additional food service for the next year. And who knows, if you happen to be a bad boy, you could shed some light on your future and say farewell to your nasty solitary room once and for all. Sounds amazing, right? No. So join us right now. Log in with your credentials oh, yeah. in the terminal, and you will be presented with a variety of jobs to choose from. And of course we sign for it. Class D. Let's make our world a happier place. <laughs> together. Yeah, together. Huh. Okay, that intro is actually really well done, I'll be honest. The voice actor was very good, so... Good job to them, honestly. Like, in the game description, it did say, like, the, develop the developer paid for, like, these voice actors, or... Well, maybe not all, but some for sure. Alright, so we have... Oh. Okay. Hi there. I'm Ronald. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Endurance Program. Thank you very much. You shows, or perhaps you've been forced to work as a night guard here on level D. Tonight, I'll be teaching you how to operate this junky camera system. Yeah, thank you, because... Oh, engineer, this is confusing. So keeping this crap in decent working condition is basically my only duty here. So I'd be the best person to draw you in. Alright, thank you. No worries. Thank you, Ronald. I'll go easy on you. And just don't tell the rest of the staff I said that. CPU they usage. would love to see you running headless. Right. I don't really share their attitude, though. As you can see, there's a PC station for your disposition. Yep, I see it right in front. It's an early version of our software on it. Hence, there's that weird terminal thing on a monitor to your yeah, right. Yeah, see But it's not as complicated as you think. Its main purpose is running some essential commands and logging in since user interface assets aren't ready for that yet. It also powers up a camera system, which is an essential tool for this job. So, you absolutely okay, need to Okay, we got like a lever thing. on the right. Maybe we use that? For security measures, the passwords on every computer here in the facility are changed, changed every, day. every day. Since you're a class D and you have no permissions around here, I'll be leaving a sticky... Damn, bro, we in like in the lowest you. level of society? So... Shall we try to see if you'll be able to run this thing? Please, I have no... You want to remotely pull the plug in your area. Cutting off the power means you'll have to boot this machine up again from the ground. Uh -huh. Here's what you'll have to do. Okay, please tell me Flip before you do. Flip the on the wall in front of you to get your room some juice. Okay. Then power up your PC. That boxy thing on the right of your table. You'll have to wait a few seconds for it to boot up. Okay, then got it. Then it's going to ask you for a password. Which is the sticky note. Type in whatever's on that sticky, sticky note. note. Okay. If done correctly, we should be able to speak again. Ready? Oh wow. Uh, 
Team 1v5. And tempting? Running cam system. Looks like this is gonna be easier than I thought. Well done. Now, let's familiarize you with the cameras. There are three floors for you to watch over. Okay. Each has a set of cameras. Some of these hang in dark places and have been equipped with lights. If there's a flashlight available, a text in the top left corner of your camera feed will appear. Okay. Pressing Z on your keyboard activates the light. Okay, good to know. Of course, you have one of these flashlights oh. in the office as well. But you need to keep in mind, all of them consume power. When of course they do. Sounds like now would be a good time to talk about power management. This night's an easy one. For practice purposes, you've been provided with unlimited power. Okay, good. Unfortunately, tomorrow there will be a limited energy pool for your night. Uh, what I expected. Things that may drain your electricity are lights, PC, camera system, ventilation, and a door. A hand door. Yes, that door on your right. Hence, that usage meter is overloaded. That's why. Okay. But there are ways you can save some of that precious energy. Uh, there's a link to the ventilation system on Cam 2D. 2D. By clicking on a server unit on the left, you're able to toggle ventilation on and off. Ah. But you have to keep in mind we're deep underground. You still need. You still need to be able to Of course. Another way is putting your PC to sleep when it's not in use. It consumes less power, wakes up crazy fast, and starts right where it left. Okay. You can do that by pressing X on your keyboard. Oh, oh I almost forgot. There's a replica of a mask of SCP-035 for you to use. Being a guard among these crazy abominations is no easy task. Oh, no, no, sure. You fool some of them. And that's it. Temper. I need to go help the others now. Remember what I said. And be sure to make use of a library on the left monitor to look those SCPs you're about to encounter up. It may save your life. Hang in. Uh -huh. And good luck. Okay. So got the ventilation fee. Oh, temperature select. Oh, and it, okay. Oh, okay, so we have sleep mode. Does sleep mode save power? Okay, it does, but not like a full amount. I assume if we do a shutdown, it would. So let's do shutdown. Voila, but it takes longer. So we save more power, but it takes longer. And you have to type the, the whole command. There we go. And by the time we do that, yeah. You'll be at the end of the night. Uh. Power 100. Okay. I couldn't try all the commands, but... Okay, that's good. Glad Night 1 is a tutorial, because this game is... Very complex with it. So now we have extras, which I assumed are the library that he spoke about. No entities encountered. Oh, uh, okay. So once we encounter them, then we're gonna face them. With each new encounter, you are provided with limited documentation. Of course we are. Ah, oh, this is great fun. All right. What the hell is BPS exclamation mark? Okay, what the? Okay, I mean, easy enough, I guess, but probably should save power. Okay, so that closes the door. We'll probably have the door on our left, so I'm guessing probably in this camera. Because that's like a vent which leads right there. Okay, that would seem like an Easter egg, so. I don't know what the hell is that. Is there something? Uh, new entity access documentation library updated. Uh, is he in the, which floor is he? Okay, that might be the entity right there, like down below. I don't think. Oh. 
Okay, I guess we're dead. Okay. Maybe he's a mask. So maybe we... What the hell? This is like the weirdest game I've ever... Oh my god. This is the weirdest game I've ever played. At least we've got a strategy. So the strategy is find his starting position, look at him so often. So our first priority is turning on the computer so we can find him in the cameras and uh, yeah, just stare at him. One, I, W, cat, okay, it's, oh, whoops, I did, uh, there we go, that's the right one, okay. Oh my god, I don't even, like, who is it? Is it that guy? Like, who is it the one that I like? I need not to stare. It's that one, okay. I just need to save power. That's all I need to do. To unfortunate oh my god, I didn't mask by accident. I have to unfortunately turn on there. He's coming. Okay. Yeah, turn that back on. He's there, but I don't I don't know how much time he gives. That's the thing. I don't know how much time he gives. Just gonna save power. Oh yeah, I need to actually like turn on that. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. Finally. We're not doing the best. But you know what? We are still doing better than last time. Oh. Yep, yep. Turn that off and voila. We have a fighting chance. Because we got, what, 26%, you know, 4 a.m. Sure, we're not in the best position, but we're doing far better than... We have a fighting chance. I don't know how good we are. Uh because I don't know how long this character takes, and that's what wastes like half of my power. I hope he hasn't done like a cheeky like, oh he can't, okay there we go. Night 2 done. Alright, not bad. Let's do night 3 or, well, a few attempts. I don't know how you enter, you access the entity library, that would be nice to know. So we're gonna turn it on immediately. M six Q one is seven. M six Q Y seven. Of course, you're already showing up. Alright. New entity discovered. Uh, help. 
uh, there's literally no like command for him. That's just great. Okay, it's this guy. Okay. Oh my gosh, should I have done that? You lose? I am like concentrating. I'm dead. I was just trying to concentrate. I don't even know. Ding. Okay, cool. I... Time of death, 3.44. That was a good first attempt of 3 yeah. I mean, night 3. I think I'll leave it off there. That was just... I'm playing like tic-tac-toe against someone. I don't even know how these entities... Anyways. I would like to say thank you all for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Because I actually did. As much as I was very confused about 90% of the time. It's really fun like actually learning like the game mechanics itself. And also having you know the library as well to help yourself out. Now I don't know how you access the library during the night. I wish that was part of the help command. But I mean I don't know what you can do with that. Anyways. I don't know that. If you did enjoy this video, why not consider giving a uh, like, commenting down below your thoughts about this game, and subscribing for more content like this one.